Hello, and welcome to Financial Fluence, where we'll teach you the most up-to-date strategies and tricks for making money online. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Nearly a century ago, Henry Ford said that the fact that most Americans had no idea how the banking system operated was a good thing. Because if they did, a revolution would break out the next morning. Ford's remark seems as true today as it did in the 1930s, despite the passage of several decades. No, this doesn't mean banking is bad. Banks provide crucial services and are part of our daily lives. Everyone wants to save money safely. You shouldn't hide money under your mattress or in your yard. The truth is that most of the time, banks are making huge profits at the expense of the general populace. Because financial institutions have sophisticated systems, some strange behaviors are hidden from inquisitive eyes. It makes no difference which side of the coin you pick. We're all in this together, one way or another. Whether you're taking out a loan, spending your money, or conserving it, the banks generate money in a variety of ways. The worst aspect is that you are completely unaware that you are being milked. One of the reasons why bank stocks have become an investor's delight is because they have many revenue streams. Here are some money facts that banks do not want you to know. Number one, your money in the bank is not physical. Your bank balance is just numbers and records. Banks use your money to make company loans, vehicle loans, and mortgages. Your money may appear to be with the bank, but it's actually earning extra money for the bank in other places. This was true during the 2008 recession. People came to the banks demanding withdrawals, but they had no money. In a crisis when everyone needs cash, the physical currency will be unavailable. Fractional reserve banking has caused this. This policy allows your bank to give loans and mortgages to needy people. Does this mean banks aren't safe? No, your money is protected by insurance. In addition, the government is present and ready to intervene if something goes wrong. So if you have money in the bank, you can close your eyes and go to sleep. Keep in mind that placing money in the bank is not the same as putting money in a box that you may access at any time. Your money is working hard to make money, not for you, but for the bank. Number two, you're losing money every year. No one has told you that keeping your money in the bank costs you money every year. This isn't about costs or theft. It's inflation related. Inflation is the rise in prices of goods and services over time. So an item you could buy with a 50 today may cost slightly more in a year and much more in 10 years. If you think that the money you have in your account is safe, you would expect that the value would remain constant over the years or even grow bigger because of interest. Most bank accounts don't keep up with inflation though. If inflation is 2% and your bank account yields 0.05%, you're losing $1.95 every year. I'm not talking about the money you invested in some financial platforms to yield returns. I'm referring to idle savings or checking account funds. Number three, always keep an eye on your accounts. Because your bank is such an important part of your life, don't neglect to check it on a frequent basis. Some hidden charges may exist on your record that you are unaware of. If you notice a charge that is not yours, notify your bank immediately. If you file a report within 90 days, your bank is required by law to refund the funds to your account within 48 hours. Your bank does not want you to know that they may try to postpone or avoid the process. But you may stand firm since you are legally protected. They have a legal obligation to refund your money. First and foremost, regulators want to know if you paid taxes on the money. Second, they want to know if the transactions were legal. So be aware that whatever you do with your money will be scrutinized. Number four, the bankers are not on your side. You probably thought you were friends. They call you often, know your name, and love you. Birthdays and anniversaries are noted. You're now hooked. The truth is that these people do not care about you. They're just going through the motions of a well-rehearsed script, 
waiting for the ideal moment to strike. My banker friend informed me how to make customers happy. He achieves the goals and gets their trust. Customers feel he's on their side, not the bank's. He convinces them to incur an unexpected debt. Imagine taking out a $50,000 line of credit you didn't use. However, this is what occurs when you have a friendship with a banker. They only worry about the numbers. Their superiors and supervisors set goals for them. If they do not meet these deadlines in a timely manner, they will lose their jobs. Some of my friend's co-workers were fired for being authentic, he said. Because they cared about clients and showed compassion, they were fired when they couldn't meet targets. So be on the lookout next year when your banker pal arrives with a big smile and a list of his company's latest offerings. Before you sign up for any loan, make sure it's for something you need and want to do. Never allow yourself to be emotionally coerced by phony friendships. Number 5. You're being watched. All of your financial transactions are tracked by banks. By law, banks have to tell the IRS about anything that seems fishy with their money. This guideline was implemented to prevent unscrupulous transactions such as money laundering. A depositor's withdrawal of more than $10,000 must be reported to the IRS. If your account needs to be audited, the IRS will send you a letter requiring an explanation for certain transactions. Number 6. Foreign Transaction Fees Most banks profit from foreign transaction fees. Your financial institution will not tell you this, but when you travel outside the United States and use your credit or debit card to make transactions, you will be charged extra fees. A friend recently went on a 15-day trip outside of the United States. He was taken aback when he opened his bank statement when he returned. He found that he had been charged a total of $105.05 in foreign transaction fees. Most banks won't tell you anything because if you did, you'd abandon them and look for alternative ways to make money. Some credit card programs offer coverage in countries other than the United States. If you use their services in a country where they are available, you won't have to pay extra for your purchases. My friend, on the other hand, was unaware of this and was not a participant in any such scheme. Thus, he was milked. Number 7. Banks profit from your card transactions. First, bank profit from credit and debit card processing fees. Even if you were just credited, the retailer pays the fees. These charges have been included to enhance profit. You bought a $500 item with your card. If the merchant charges 3%, the bank gets $15. This money pays for machines and payment ease. Do you think the merchant will be happy to lose 15% of his profit? I'll explain how you pay this cost. The price went from $480 to $500. The extra $20 covers a 3% bank fee. Secondly, banks give so many incentives to sign up for credit cards because they make so much money from them. Your card's interest rate might be adjusted at any time. Credit card rates average 17%. Your bank can increase to 18% or 19% with 15 to 30 days notice. Long legal letters are rarely read. You ignore them, so banks profit from your misinformation. Compound credit card interest will accumulate. This will backfire. Your finances could suffer if you don't pay off your debts. I'm not saying credit cards are terrible in and of themselves. They're a convenient component of our daily life. But care should be taken so as not to accumulate debts. Be sure to pay off your debts every single month. And with that said, I hope this video can help you gain more knowledge and stay out of trouble. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.